the Otoran virus, also known as the worm, usually hides in files in your drives and uses them to auto-execute malicious code when the drive is opened. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to remove Otoran virus safely and manually using nothing but the command prompts. And at the end, I will introduce the Otoran virus remover for an automated solution. Open the command prompt as administrator. Press Windows plus R to open the RAN dialog box. Type CMD, then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to open command prompt as an administrator. Next, you will need to find the infected drive. Let's say your flash drive shows up as E. In command prompt, simply type E with a semicolon and press Enter. That command switches you into the drive's directory. Now every command you run will apply specifically to that drive. Now let's view everything inside the drive, including the hidden and system files. Type this command, D-I-R-A. This lists all files, even the ones Windows normally hides from you. If you spot a file named autorun.inf, that's the trigger, the file responsible for launching the infection every time the drive is opened. Auto run infections usually hide behind three protections. The file will be hidden. It will be marked as read only and it will be tagged as a system file. To make it removable, you have to strip those attributes. Type this command attribute hrs auto run dot inf. That removes hidden read only and system flags from the auto run inf so you can delete it. Now that the protection attributes are gone, it's time to delete the infection effectively. Type this command and press enter. Del autorun.inf. That removes the autorun trigger file completely. Now let's dig deeper and check for any hidden executable files that might still be lurking inside the drive. Type dirAS find executable. This will scan through every folder on the drive and list all executable files. Look carefully at the results. Pay close attention to anything that appears in the root directory or in folders that look suspicious or unfamiliar. If you spot something odd, use the attribute command to remove the hidden attributes from the suspected executable file. And move on to delete it but do it carefully you only want to delete files you are certain are part of the infection not system or legitimate program files once you have cleaned one drive don't stop there the auto run virus often spreads across every connected drive so repeat the exact same process for all your drives just switch to each drive using its letter and run the same commands it's a quick step that ensures the virus doesn't come back the moment you plug in another drive even after deleting the main files some auto run remnants can linger in your temporary folders. Let's clean them up. First, navigate to the system drive. Type drive C and press enter. From there to the temp folder by typing CD temp. Then let's delete any leftover executable files in the temporary folder. Type del FSQ executable. Also, let's remove any suspicious scripts in the temporary folder by typing del f s q v b s. These commands forcefully remove all executable and VBS files from the temporary folder and its subfolders, making sure nothing is left behind that could reactivate the virus. As an extra precaution, you can disable auto run completely to prevent future infections from ever happening. To do this, type rec add hklm software Microsoft Windows current version policies explorer v no drive type auto run t reg the word d255 f this edits the windows registry to block all drives from automatically executing files it's optional 
but highly recommended, especially if you frequently plug in USB drives or external storage. With the manual cleanup done, the next step is to double check with Windows Defender. Look down at the system tray in the lower right corner of your screen and click the shield icon. That opens the Windows security. From here, click Virus and Threat Protection. Then choose Quick Scan. Windows Defender is great at catching well-known viruses, using its latest virus definitions to protect your system. But some threats, like auto-run infections, hide as hidden files that Defender might not see right away. That's why the manual version is necessary. For a simple, automated, and user-friendly solution, download the auto-run virus remover from the link pinned in the comments. Let's go ahead and open it. Windows might ask for permission, so we click Run Anyway to continue. Now we are in the installation setup. It's super straightforward. Once it's done, click Finish, and the tool opens automatically. The tool detects all available drives. It asks if you want to scan for each drive for auto-run infections. Let's type Y for yes. And here we go. No auto-run virus was found on the C drive. You can see it has scanned and listed all files, including hidden and system files. Next, it will ask to scan another drive, if available. Type Y for the scan to be made. And finally, I'm going to type Y again for my E drive. As you can see, the tool scanned it and found an auto run virus. It will ask if you want to remove it. Type Y. And the auto run virus is deleted. Then it finds suspicious educatables. Type Y and the tool will delete them instantly. After that, it cleans temporary files from your temp folder. For every temp file, you have to confirm the deletion by typing Y. And lastly, it asks if you want to disable auto run on all drives. Type Y for auto run to be permanently disabled. And just like that, the system is clean. That's how you safely and efficiently remove auto run viruses. Use the link pinned in the comment section to get auto run virus remover and clean your system automatically with just a few clicks. If you want exclusive access to this and other powerful tools, join our channel membership today.